Hey Collective, hey. Welcome to Chakra Energy Readings. My name is Sharika and thank you for stopping by. Um, I did a whole video as you can see with everything all laid out here and it was not recording. Wow. So I'm going to try to do this um, and go backwards. So, um, well, we can start over. I'll just put these to the side like this, and we will get the message here. All right, so this again is for the water signs. Um, let me say the little prayer. I'm here only as a vessel to facilitate a positive connection with our ancestors and spirit guides. I ask that the ancestors and spirit guides of pure light and love guide us on a healing journey of our chakra energies. Well, we can gain complete inner understanding and oneness with all. Thank you, God, for our connection to our ancestors and spirit guides. We give you the utmost gratitude for our being. All right, so water signs. This is what we had to come out. I, of course, did my shuffle as I do all other signs. Um, first card out was the inner child in the upright. Then we had truth, um, inner child coming from the heart, truth coming from the throat chakra in the upright, divine wisdom, which is the soul star chakra in the upright, soul healing. Um, which is the soul star chakra in the upright communication, which is the throat chakra in the upright psychic development, which is the third eye chakra in the upright. And then in reverse, okay, this was here. We had determination, which is the solar plexus in the reverse. Um, I am presence, which is the crown chakra in reverse and family, which is the root chakra in reverse. I pulled additional clarification for this and love, which is the heart chakra came out in the reverse. Also, we had abundance to come out in the upright. So what I am gathering for your read, uh, reading um, is it seems like you have been doing the work to clear some inner um, child issues that heart chakra has been aligned in that area. Um, your throat chakra is aligned. You're understanding your truth because you're understanding your truth. You're receiving divine wisdom from your ancestors, spirit guides, um, and old spirit guides. And this is in turn giving you soul healing. Um, you're receiving a soul healing, which is allowing your communication from the throat chakra to also be in alignment. Your psychic development, your intuition is in alignment. Um, but the next card out of determination in reverse, and then these additional here clarification cards, tells me that there is a relationship, um, family, situation, circumstance, um, that you are not fully present in and you're not determined to make work. So you are not um, feeling a certain family dynamic here. The love is also in reverse. Um, your abundance is in the upright. This can be read two ways. Whether it is this, once this is removed, the abundance is there, or you have received this abundance and have also part of that abundance has caused um, you to be, have more realization that this relationship, family dynamic, circumstances is not right for you. Uh, with the new moon that we have here in Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Uh, with the new moon we have here, we do have rebirth. We do have realizations. We do have new fresh intentions. And we are receiving downloads and new beginnings. So this new moon definitely coincides with your energy that you have here, water signs. Scorpio, it definitely coincides with your Scorpio new moon um, that's in your sign right now. So water signs, this new moon seems to be connected to you all. Um, there, If you understand there is a relationship or family dynamic that is not um, causing you to have um, or 
causing you to be present in the present moment and you're not determined to work it out, then you do have the universals, um, the universes um, agreeing with you to have a new beginning is what I'm trying to say. Woo. All right. So then we have um, heart chakra out, um, base chakra and solar plexus. The heart chakra card was compassion and forgiveness. Have compassion for yourself and those around you. Let go of anger, resentments, and torments from the past. And do not give your power away to those involved. Forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself. Forgive yourself for the things you could have done differently in the past. And remind yourself that your response could have not have been any more evolved than it was at the time. You are compassionate to those in need. As this shows them they are not alone. Practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. Mostly to yourself, that's what that's saying. Compassion and forgiveness has to start with them in order for you to share um, those emotions and energy. Next we have, can see y'all all right? Next, we have by finding material security without being materialistic, you will gain satisfaction. And this is the self-sufficiency card. You will gain satisfaction, stability, and inner strength. You are resource. You are resourceful. Put in the effort to be responsible for supplying fundamental needs in your life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. <clears throat> Take responsibility for where you are now. Find yourself in life as you move forward. Get in touch with and trust your innate wisdom, which tells you that you will be provided with all you need. Your wisdom, God, spirit guides, ancestors, they always provide you with all you need. Trust that wisdom. And lastly, we have <clears throat> oneness and unity. Accept the oneness of all life and know that you are one with all others on this journey. Support them and let them support you. Be brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. Allow yourself to empathize and sympathize with others. Choose to see the love in all around you. See everything as part of your own life and accept others for who they are. Find common ground with others rather than differences as this brings harmony into your life and into theirs. All right, and so the um, stone that I recommended for you water signs this week, um, but it looks like you all are moving in alignment with the universe, with the new moon energy that is here. So I would recommend clear quartz. Um, I will recommend um, adventuring. This is for the heart. And of course, clear quartz can help you um, in all your chakras. All right, let's see here. So the um, chakra health cards that I pulled, and again, these are just cards to give you information about what illness relates to what chakra. Um, if you're not done with it now, maybe in the future, but it's just educational. All right, so we have vein issues. Um, vein issues can come from the crown chakra or the heart chakra, depending on um, your blood pressure, um, whether it's low or high, um, or it can be um, related to cardiovascular vein issues. Uh, pancreatic cancer comes from the solar plexus. The respiratory system is um, part of the heart, solar, and throat. If you think about the nose being the start of the respiratory system all the way down to the lungs that is um, in the solar plexus. We have reproductive system. It's related to your sacral chakra. That is um, the chakra of creativity. We have cardiovascular system, which is related to your heart chakra, of course. We have overly sexual, that is related to your sacral chakra. Again, creativity. Um, we have throat, 
I'm sorry, tonsils related to your throat chakra, dental issues related to your throat chakra, that throat and heart actually, dental issues um, start in your mouth, but it travels down and can affect your heart as well. And also lymphatic system um, that is related to your um, gland glandular system, your adrenal glands is part of that. For example, it's related to all seven chakras. You do have glands in your throat that will be related to throat chakra and you have glands under your arms that will be related to your heart chakra as well as um, glands near your genital area which will be related to root chakra. So all seven of these chakras hold that system. All right, uh, water signs. I hope you all have a good week. I hope I was able to bring some clarity or help you in some confirmations of some changes that you're making. But it looks like you are in the energy of the new moon and the universe, and they, the universe is riding with you all. So, y'all take care. Take this flight. Have a good week. See y'all later. Bye.